Hello, this is me again with my bad English and with another exciting bunch of news about the development of Dynavati CH1. Uh, here is our development board and now I will show you the current status of the software which uh, again is nowhere near the final version but it can give you some ideas. So I will switch the watch on. Now it's booting and hopefully we will see the default clock display. Yes, here it is. It's already using uh, the internal real-time clock. But uh, the heart of the system is a so-called super manager or superman, how we call it. Uh, which is a universal system of menus and submenus which are used to navigate through everything inside uh, TCH1 and configuring everything inside TCH1. So I will open the Superman by holding this button down. And first of all I will try to change the font for you to see it better. So I will go here to change the default font size. This is this is the default default size is the medium one. Here is the extremely tiny one and I will switch to the biggest available font. Okay. Now uh, I will try to run some more applications. Currently uh, only application which is visible, which produces some kind of uh, visible output is this default clock. So I will enter the Superman again. And I will go to apps, stopped apps and now in fact uh, the internal SD card was searched for all the directories uh, which look like they could be applications. I will start uh, this one, button test, start this application and I will start this one which is called binary clock. And yes, we know how you are supposed to spell binary. Okay, now I will get back to the clock screen and now I have three applications running and I can switch between them using the switch button. Now I switch to binary clock which is a kind of geek clock display uh, because you have, to under, you have to understand the binary co code to actually decode what is the time and date but it looks cool. And this is the old button test application which just prints the button events events as they are generated. Now when I switch to the binary clock applications I can uh, open its local menu and here I can select some color variations for this watch. For example, I can try Inferno, which is just different shades of red. Now I can go back to Superman. Here I can browse all the apps that are currently running. Most of them are system applications which I cannot stop and uh, they don't produce any visible output but here I can see the binary clock, uh, bitmap representation and the default, default clock bitmap representation. Here is some info about the application. And uh, in, in most of the menus of Superman I, I see this item which is 
add the shortcut which creates a shortcut to this superman location and now whenever I enter the superman main root menu I will see the shortcut and here I can go directly to default clock page and see its settings and so on this is consistent uh, across most of the superman menus so for example one of the superman submenus is file browser here I can see directories files on SD card if the file contains some structured data I can browse them and so on again most of what you see now is written in Lua and it's uh, surprisingly fast and uh, many parts of the system will probably be later rewritten re to uh, C++ so uh, it will be even faster is there something else? yes also you can adjust the time and date which is currently very very basic like this if you want to adjust minutes again this is one of the things which probably will be very different in the final image but we think it's coming along nicely uh, thank you for for your attention read our blog and watch the other videos bye